Hello, my name is Sean Bianco from 3CX. This training consists of a series of video tutorials which will take you through the setup, configuration and maintenance of 3CX phone system. These video tutorials will prepare you for the 3CX certification test. 3CX phone system is a software-based PBX that leverages the IP network and the SIP open standard for audio and even video telephone calls. A software-based IP PBX provides various benefits. It is generally easier to install and manage. 3CX phone system can be easily managed from its web-based console. Since 3CX phone system is a Windows-based application, it can be managed and monitored just like any other Windows-based application using your existing network monitoring package. Since 3CX phone system can be installed on existing servers or virtual servers, there is no need to purchase additional hardware, thus minimizing the initial and management costs. IP phones can be plugged directly into the existing IP network, thus not requiring additional wiring for the phone system. In addition, 3CX phone system is far less expensive to expand compared to a hardware PBX. Further savings come from connecting branch offices using 3CX bridges so that all inter-office calls are set up as internal calls and therefore free. Enterprise features such as digital receptionist, paging, voicemail and central phone book are included in all paid editions of 3CX phone system. 3CX phone system allows users to manage their extension directly from their desktop using 3CX MyPhone. This allows users to see the presence of other extensions, configure a status to be shown to other users, initiate calls, check voicemail, check their call history, create conference calls, and create contacts in their personal or global phone books. All this can be done from the user's desktop. 3CX MyPhone also integrates with Microsoft Outlook, Salesforce.com, and other major CRM systems allowing users to launch calls from these applications. 3CX phone system provides total mobility for its users, allowing them to stay connected to the office when they are not in the office. Users can configure soft phones and hardware phones at remote locations such as their home office. They can also install 3CX phone on their Android or iPhone smartphones allowing them to stay connected even when traveling. 3CX phone system has completed interoperability tests with leading industry VoIP providers of SIP phones and VoIP gateways, giving the business total vendor independence and freedom of choice. In addition, you can leverage additional cost savings by making use of VoIP providers, SIP trunks or Skype gateway. On the other hand, if you prefer to make use of your local public switch telephone network, this can be done using a VoIP gateway or VoIP card. Let's take a quick look at the equipment which is needed to operate your own software-based PBX. The recommended equipment will be reviewed in more detail at a later stage. You will need a server on which to install your new software-based PBX. This server should be running a Windows operating system and generally does not need to be dedicated to 3CX phone system unless you are planning to use the PBX in a very busy environment. The server is generally connected to the network from where it can communicate with all the other phones. You will surely need phones in order to make calls. Most organizations would opt for IP-based desk phones as most users are accustomed to using one of these. Users can also install a soft phone such as 3CX phone on their computer. In this case, they require speakers and a microphone or a headset attached to the computer in order to make calls. Android and iPhone users can also install 3CX phone on their smartphone. In all cases, the phone can be located either in the network or outside of the network, like for example for users who are working from home or users who travel often. You would want to connect to the PSTN in one of two ways. The first is using a VoIP provider or SIP trunk service. In this case, calls will be sent and received to your VoIP provider over the internet. VoIP providers are generally cheaper, especially for long distance calls. 
The second way to connect to the PSTN is by making use of a VoIP gateway, whose function is to translate SIP-based information in a way to be transmitted over the PSTN. In this case, you would need either an ISDN line or an analog line attached to the VoIP gateway. This leads us to the conclusion of the first course in this series. I hope you found the information provided informative. You can find more training material at the link provided.